welcome painting friends. I'm Chelsea with the Art of Life Guided Painting. Thanks for joining me today. If you have purchased one of our kits, you can get out your supplies and follow along. If you need to purchase a kit, you can get that at our website, theartoflife.info, all one word. That is also our Instagram handle. You can also check us out on our YouTube channel, The Art of Life Guided Painting, and that is also our Facebook handle. So all the things. You can message us through Facebook as well. If you have any direct questions, our office is usually pretty good about getting back to people in a timely fashion. All right, so welcome. Again, I'm Chelsea with the Art of Life Guided Painting. Thank you for joining us. We are going to be taking you through lovebirds today. Are you guys ready? Are you excited? I am excited. Okay, so some of the things that we're gonna need today, I am using acrylic paint. I'm gonna be using a nice dark blue. This is uh, ultramarine blue that I'm using, but any nice blue color that you like will work. I'm also using a bright red. And you could, whoops, that wasn't me. That was the paint, yep. All right, and then I am also using some white. This is just a bright white or titanium white if you want to get technical. And then I am using a true black for this as well. All right, you are also gonna to wanna to have some brushes. Now I'm gonna take this painting and set it down and get out my white canvas. If you are using one of our kits or you have supplies at home that you want to use to follow along, that is awesome. If you don't have canvas, you can still paint with us. You can make your own. I have just taken some cardboard backing from one of my kids' sketch pads, or you can use any type of poster board that works for you, and I've actually taped a piece of paper to it. You can use masking tape, painter's tape, duct tape, whatever works for you. You'll see that I've overlapped the edges of the paper. The really important thing is to leave this tape on until your beautiful creation has dried. That way it doesn't curl up or get wrinkly. So you can make your own painting canvas just like this by taping down your paper. All right, so get your painting surface ready, get your paints ready. You're gonna need three brushes today, okay? So uh, you're gonna wanna have a bigger brush, a medium-sized brush, and a little tiny brush, all right, for those little tiny details. I'm using my big people adult brushes, but uh, you can use whatever brushes you have handy. Okay. So I'm gonna put my canvas up here. Mine's a nice square canvas today. This I think is a 12 by 12, but you can do this on any size canvas. You can do it on a big one like we had there, or you can do it on a smaller one too. All right. I also have a nice cup of water for rinsing my brushes. My acrylic paint dries really fast. Plus we wanna make sure that we have water to clean our brushes when we're switching colors. I also have some paper towel here that I'm drying my brushes off on. You can be eco-friendly and use a napkin, a washcloth, cloth, washcloth. Okay. All right, so we're gonna have the brushes, the water, the paint, we're ready to paint. Woo! Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is mix up some purple. Some of you might already know this, but we're gonna make purple by mixing two colors together. We are gonna be mixing our blue and our red. Now these are both dominant primary colors. So you can mix like equal colors, equal parts blue and red and mix them together. And that's gonna come up with a nice lavender. Mix up a nice big amount of this right here. So we're gonna to wanna to cover a lot of our canvas with this purple. All right, we ready? Got our purple, got our brush. 
So I'm gonna find where the center of my canvas is and I'm gonna put my finger right on it. Okay, don't wanna paint right on the center right now. I wanna make a nice heart shape right around here so that I have a spot for my bird to be. So here's my center. I'm gonna go up from my center just a little bit and that's where I'm gonna start my heart. One half. And the other half. Now, if your heart is a little wonky or the size or different shapes, that's okay, because we're gonna be painting over a lot of this. We can fix it. We just wanna get the shape on there just for right now. Okay. Once I have that, I'm gonna smooth some of this purple down and get all that extra paint off my brush. Whoosh it around that canvas. Here we go. All right. Add a little bit more purple. Okay, I want you to do something. We are gonna use some of our water to blend our paint. So we don't wanna use too much paint on here. So let's go ahead dip your brush in just boop can you boop it in ready one two three boop and then wipe off those extra drips on your cup we are going to use that we're just going to paint right with water and that's going to make our paint just glide across the canvas even more all right so does everyone have a lot of purple on their heart. Okay. We're gonna do some color mixing. There's two different ways to mix paint. One of the ways to mix paint is right on your paint palette, like we did just now making the purple. The other way to mix paint is to do it right on your canvas, and that's gonna be a much different look because it doesn't come out one solid color. It kind of blends a little bit, but it might be not all the way. I'm gonna take my brush, I still have purple on it, and I'm just gonna dip it right in my blue paint. Dip it in your blue paint. I'm gonna brush that right into the edge of my purple. And you see how it brings that blue in there? Cover up some of the purple. We're just gonna go right around those edges. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with red. I'm gonna take some red on my brush and put it right in there. And you just put these colors wherever you want them, whatever makes you happy. Do you notice I'm going around the shape of my heart as I do it? So all the paint I put on, I'm doing it in a nice curved way. Now, some of you might think, I don't want to do that, and that's okay, too. This is your special painting, so I want you to do what makes you feel good inside when you're painting. If it feels good to go around the shape of the heart, do that. And if it feels good to just get the paint on there however you need to, you can do that, too. So we're going to keep putting purple and blue. and red on there, all right? Until we have the background almost covered. Remember when we blended with our water? I'm gonna do that again a minute. I'm gonna dip this, boop, right into my brush, right into the water. I'm gonna use this to just blend those colors together. So I'm using water as part of my paint. I feel like my background's a little dark. I think I'm gonna lighten it up. I'm gonna take my brush and dip it in my white paint. Just a little bit, boop, just a little. We're gonna dip it in there. I'm just gonna add some white right in there. And that's gonna help just Lighten it up just a little bit. Whoa, that got really light, didn't it? Makes it look nice and pretty. You can do 
any color background you want. Maybe you want to do a bright orange background or yellow. Whatever color background you want to do is okay. My best friend, Katie, her favorite color is purple. So this heart reminds me of her. We've been friends for a really long time. give them your heart painting. Grown-ups, if you're following along with this, you can give these to your friends too. All right, so we're just blending and covering up the whole background of our painting. Some of you are fast painters and some of you are very careful painters. Both ways are just fine. If you get finished and I'm still painting, just give me a second to catch up or fast forward. That's the nice thing about having a video is you can just go at your own pace. If you are watching this on a tablet or handheld device, like a phone, you can actually zoom in, just make it bigger, right on the details that I'm doing. So if you wanna see something up close, you can always go back and zoom in on it and say, now what exactly did she do there? How does she do that? All right. You guys ready to go? most of my background painted in a way that makes me happy. So I'm gonna rinse off my brush. All right, I really want you to wiggle that around in your cup of water. Swoosh it, swoosh it. We're gonna dry it off on our paper towel. Dry, dry, dry. Ready? I'm just going back and forth. I want my brush super dry, okay? So just dry off your brush, just like that. We're ready to go. So I have a nice clean brush and I'm gonna dip this in my white paint, just like this. And I'm gonna go right around the outside of my heart. I'm overlapping my purple just a little bit. See how it's smearing a little? That's okay. Sometimes art is okay if we smear it just a little bit. Now, I know that I went to school to do art, but I still can't do a perfect heart shape. Mine are always just a little wobbly. And I've grown to love my wobbly hearts just the way they are. All right, when you have white and you went go all the way around, does everyone have white and they went all the way around and it kind of smeared into their background color? Let's wipe this off on our paper towel again. You don't have to rinse it. Wipe it off on the paper towel. Wipe, 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 wipe. Dip that back in your white paint paintbrush in the white paint and let's fill in our heart. It's going to smear a little bit with your edge color and that's okay. If you want to fill it in with something other than white, that's okay too. But remember, we're going to put a bird on here and 
if you want to put a bird on here, you want it to be light enough in the middle so that it you can see the bird on top of it. If you do a dark heart, like black or blue, then your bird should be a lighter color, like white or light purple or light pink or light blue. All right, I kind of like that it blends in a little bit because I think it gives it just a little bit of visual interest. You guys are doing a great job. I can feel it. All right, we all have our hearts on there. All right, so once we've got our heart on there, we are gonna let this background dry, okay? Just kidding, just kidding. I fibbed, that's my bad. Okay, I, I want you to turn your brush around. We're gonna use the back of your brush to do something. We're backwards painting. I'm gonna dip this right in my white paint and I'm gonna do some dots. I'm gonna start right in the middle, boop. I'm just gonna make these white dots all the way around this side of my heart. There we go. And now if you're feeling real sassy, really adventurous and fun, you can add a few more little dots here and there. And you can do this with the brush end of one of your smaller brushes too, if you want to. Put as many dots on there as you want that make you happy. And then we are ready to dry off our background. Now, I have a little dance that I like to do when I dry off my background. You don't have to, but I kind of like to. I'm gonna get my music ready. Stay there, don't go anywhere. Ready? Don't go anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna get my music ready. Okay, so you listen to music that makes you happy if you want to fast forward this or you can do it along with me. Make sure you have space to do this. Get a safety zone around you. Don't knock anything over. We're just going to dry off our painting and wave it around. tree branch. 
So I'm gonna take my brush, my medium sized brush, and I'm gonna dip it into my black paint. Ooh, dancing around makes me thirsty. All right, so we are going to dip it into our black paint. I'm gonna pick where our branch is gonna come from. Now, I want my branch to kind of swoop down in. So I'm gonna start up here and then, hold on, okay. I want my branch to just swoop. I'm adjusting my master so I can watch what I do. Ready, set. Just like that. Now I'm going to make this a little thicker. Some of you might have made it thick enough right on the first time. Good job. Good for you. Mine needs to be a little thicker. So I'm just going to draw another line down here. Make it just a little thicker. And then we're gonna start making some little baby branches. Now, I think most of you should probably switch to your little, little brush, your little guy. So switch to your little pointy brush. And then I want you to just make these little tiny branches right off the big one, okay? And you can swap brushes, you can take turns. You might do one like this and then do your tiny marks there. Or if you can do it with your big brush, that's great too. I spent a really, really long time studying how to paint. So I had to practice doing it with my bigger brush. But if your bigger brush is making branches that you think are too thick, then just switch to your baby brush, okay? Mama bear, pop bear, and the baby bear. Too much? All right. Maybe we'll just do a little one up here, just for fun. You do them wherever you think they need to be. Okay. And now we are going to add our bird. I'm going to take my little brush and we're just going to make some shapes. I'm going to make a line right here where I want the body to be a nice little line. This is how big my bird's going to be. Just make a little line just like that. We're going to draw the bird right over that line. So the bird's body on the bottom is going to be kind of rounded like a teardrop. So we're just going to make a teardrop shape. Now maybe you have a big round teardrop and your bird's going to be cute and fluffy, or maybe you have a very thin one and your bird's going to be very thin and speedy. Just totally up to you what kind of bird you want to have. Even if it doesn't turn out exactly the way you thought it was supposed to, that's okay. When you're painting, sometimes the painting takes you places you didn't think it was going to go and it doesn't turn out exactly the way you want or you thought that it should. Mine does that all the time. And I, I've realized that when I can just relax and enjoy painting and not worry about it being perfect, sometimes I just end up liking it anyway. But either way, it's fun to paint. It feels good. So once we have our teardrop shape right on there, I'm gonna make a little round top for the head, just like that, all right? As you can see, I just added, he looks like a little peanut at an angle on our branch. And I'm just gonna fill that in 
And again, if this is too fast for you, you just pause this until you catch up, okay? You do not have to paint as fast as I do. Take your time and enjoy this. All right, and then I'm gonna put a tiny beak on here. Tiny beak, I'm just gonna do a tiny triangle for my beak, okay? Ready? Tiny little beak, tiny little triangle. Then I'm gonna add the tail and you can switch to a bigger brush if you want, or you can keep using your small detail brush. There's no wrong brush to use for this, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Now, how long do you want the tail to be? Do you want it to be a really long tail, goes all the way down, or do you want it to end? Think about where you want that tail to end. Wherever that is, we're gonna draw a line at an angle just like that. And then we're gonna make like a triangle shape, right? So the, the point of the triangle is right here on the little booty, right there. And then it goes out in a triangle, just like that. And then we just fill it in. And we have our beautiful bird and his fluffy little tail. And there we go. And you can add as much or as little as you want to as far as detail. If you want to go in and add some stars or some glitter, you absolutely can. And most importantly, don't forget to sign your painting. Be proud of what you did today. And that's it, you did it. Thank you so much for choosing to paint with us today. Again, we are The Art of Life Guided Painting. You can find us on YouTube at The Art of Life Guided Painting. You can find us on Facebook at The Art of Life Guided Painting. You can get our painting kits and buy online classes at our website, theartoflife.info. And of course, we have a lot of live opportunities uh, locally as well in Grand Rapids, Michigan. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day.